Stroke strikes about 700,000 Americans each year, but the vast majority of people survive thanks to new techniques to remove or dissolve clots. One such method is the Mercy Retriever catheter that extracts the clot. We spoke with Dr. Todd Limpert of Mission Hospital in Mission Viejo about how this method brings back normal blood flow to the brain. Stroke can be a devastating problem. It's often caused by a clot blocking a brain artery, depriving the brain of blood and oxygen. So we have a number of techniques to try to restore blood flow. One is to try to dissolve the blood clot, but now with the Mercy Retriever catheter, we're able to actually extract the clot, remove it out, and then restore the blood flow. When the patient comes in, we do some sophisticated tests to understand what type of problem the patient is having in terms of a, of a clot or a blockage. But then, when we're in the treatment mode, we have to go inside the blood vessel under careful x-ray guidance up from the leg artery into the aorta, up into the neck, and then finally up into the brain. And then we, we find the blood clot lodged in a brain artery, and this tiny little corkscrew is then inserted at the level of the clot, and the clot is extracted, and then blood flow is restored. So it's all done under x-ray guidance. Timing is critical when talking about the brain. Uh, people in my field have a common expression, which is time is brain. And uh, we only have a few hours window of opportunity to reverse the devastation of stroke. So we basically have about six hours. Now, with the Mercy Retrieval catheter, we can extend that out a little bit. We have up to about eight hours. But it's imperative that people recognize stroke as a 911 emergency get to the hospital as soon as they experience symptoms so that we have the maximal opportunity to restore blood flow and oxygen. We've been doing uh, sophisticated uh, cutting edge stroke treatments for two years here at, uh, at Mission Hospital. I'm part of a very new field called interventional neuroradiology and uh, we're folks that have training in the diagnosis of stroke and also these specialized catheter-based x-ray guided techniques. And it's a very new field. There's uh, only about 200 uh, doctors like myself throughout the country, but we're hoping to mint more people to get this type of training so we can offer it to a broader range of affected individuals. We're also developing specialized stroke centers across the nation so that patients will have the highest level of care. And then, of course, we need to mint more doctors who are trained in these techniques. If we can completely restore the blood flow to a patient's brain in a uh, short time window, if they presented, uh, we will often get an outstanding result. We have uh, some cases what we call the Lazarus syndrome, where someone comes in, they can't speak, they can't move the entire side of their body, and when by the time we're finished, all their symptoms are gone and right then and there on the table their signs and symptoms have reversed. Uh, it's very important that we get the blood flow going as soon as possible. So it's a little hard to say what the success rate is sort of individual depending on how soon the patient comes in, how completely we can restore the blood flow.